What's happening guys, Lawson here. Before we kick off and get into the video, I just want to tell you that this video is sponsored by War Dragons and it's actually something kind of really cool that I'm excited to share with you guys, but we'll talk about that later. We're going to hop into the boat and kind of catch up with uh, what we're doing. <laughs> What's happening guys, Lawson here. Got main homie Zeke in the boat with me today and we're trying to do a little bit of offshore fishing. If you watched the last video, Isom and myself came out here and we caught a few kingfish, caught a bunch of boneheads, blue runners, it's a good time. So we're trying to come out and uh, do something similar again but the bait is not being super cooperative. We spent probably an hour already this morning trying to catch sardines and anything really and we've only caught like two or three. So I think the game plan is we're gonna troll some tiny little feathers and see if we can catch some bonita, and then we're gonna use the bonita and strip them up and uh, float out some bonita strips and see if we can catch maybe some other small blue runners to use as live bait. But going offshore, maybe we can get in some kingfish, dolphin. We already saw sailfish free jumping this morning. It should be a good morning, but we kind of just need to formulate a game plan and make it happen. All right. We were making our way out to our first mark and just trolling on this rod a uh, lipped plug and then Zeke was trolling a little jig basically, kind of like, oh, something just ate right to our right here. And Zeke was trolling, oh, I have your line, that's helpful. Zeke was trolling a feathered plug and it just got whacked. So hopefully it'll be the bonehead or blue runner. Oh no, it's just a tank blue runner. Okay, whatever. Sweet. Good. I need a few of those, honestly. That is a freaking <laughs> large blue runner. All right, putting a blue runner out on the stinger rig right here. The other day had a very large kingfish on doing this, so maybe we can uh, duplicate that effort here. He is like the only bait size blue. Oh my lord, he just took off. The only bait size blue runner that we have, so. Something just picked up, something just picked up our dead sardine here. There it is. <laughs> it's very little, which isn't necessarily a bad thing considering we kind of need some bait right now. I have a feeling this is gonna be a remora. I feel like I have a wet tube sock on right now. Watch, it's gonna be like a huge kingfish. It just doesn't even know it's hooked. It is, is it a kingfish? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I was totally joking. It's not huge, but is it like huge. Spanish mackerel size yeah. kingfish? Yeah. Well, going under. Come on, schnubby. That is hilarious. I was. It is a kingfish. He's really, I mean, he's not big, but he's not tiny. I guess he's kind of tiny. What a handsome boy. Well, we managed to convert two sardines into a kingfish. I guess that's not terrible. Remember how I said I sliced my hand open on Monday? That's exactly how I did it. Sorry. You literally just grab the line and flip them in. I've realized that's the easiest way. They hate being tail grabbed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. First fish of the day, other than blue runners. Little, little kingfish right there. We originally weren't going to keep him, but he was choked the hook. And the second we dropped him into the boat, he literally just like flopped and smashed his head into the deck of the boat a million times so he's gonna come home and might find his way into some nice smoked fish dip and zeke and i can both take a slab so hey it's a good thing converted our one 
or our two sardines into a kingfish. I don't think that's too bad, but now we're gonna start slicing up some blue runner, which I don't have as high hopes for. But hopefully we can use that blue runner and catch some more bonita or something and then start really getting into some fish. All right, really quick, we're gonna jump away from the fishing and talk about today's sponsor for the video. Today's video is sponsored by War Dragons. Now, War Dragons is a real-time strategy game that you play on your mobile device where you get to control an army of dragons <laughs> to use them to attack other players and other bases. So you basically build your own base where you breed 150 different types of dragons that you get to control. Every single one has different abilities and skills and look and what they do. And you're fortifying your own base while you're also launching attacks on enemies' bases. And you can join guilds and play with your friends and play with other people. It's just really cool how deep this game goes for being a game on your phone and all the different things you can do. What really got me interested in partnering with War Dragons is they are partnering up with a charity called Stack Up that works with veterans and civilians bringing them together through a mutual love of video games and I'll leave some links below where you guys can check that out and it's really really cool the type of work that they're doing and really just it's awesome you should go check out those links below. The game is actually very fun and I found myself when I was kind of researching about it and getting to know more about it just literally sitting there on my phone kind of getting lost and playing it and really enjoying myself. So what you guys need to do is go down below and download War Dragons and get playing and you can see how reading your first dragon and playing can help stack up's cause and there will also be more information below about how you guys can help stack up. So really big thanks to War Dragons and you guys should install this because it's cool to find a company that supports the people who serve our country and work with charities that do that as well and that's very very cool. All right, thank you War Dragon for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Let's hop back into it. All right, the rod had a chunk of blue runner on it. It just got taken up and I have a feeling that this might end up being a shark that's on here. Oh, they might have just dropped it, dude. It just dropped. That fish completely turned our boat. It had to just be a big shark picked it up and was just running with it, I guess. But he completely turned our boat in a 180. So we just had a, a good sized shark come up to the back of the boat. And there were some fish swimming around with them down below. I couldn't quite tell what they were, if they were just, you know, some runners or jacks or what. But I'm gonna drop down this little feather and I put on just a little chunk of blue runner, kind of as a trailer. I'm just gonna drop it down. Literally like 40 feet beneath the boat and jig it up and down, see if anything comes up and whacks it. More so just to kill some time while I wait for these big rods to hopefully go off. I can see fish skirting around behind the boat. And I can see a big mother effing shark. There's a fish. Uh, what do I got? Oh no, shark, please don't, please don't, please don't. <laughs> That's a good blue runner, though. Oh my gosh. He did chase it like right to the tail of the boat. Zeke's got like a two pound blue runner on and there's a big old cuda chasing him around down there. Oh my gosh, we get to see the cuda skirting around underneath the boat. <laughs> Reel him up slowly and see if we'll whack him. <laughs> They're playing footsie down there. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think we're playing grab ass right now. <laughs> I think it's blue runners, but oh gosh, instantly whack. Second, gonna... <laughs> there we go. I think it's just a school of blue runners, but we need some little ones for sure. Holy gosh! Hello, beast. Can you imagine if he comes out from underneath the boat and eats like that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, keep on surface. Keep on surface. Keep on surface. He's gonna come at the boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, just keep him fluttering. Keep him fluttering. Another one. 
there's two of them. The other one's bigger. Oh, oh my gosh. That's insane. They're freaking tanks. <laughs> they are freaking tanks. Dude, they like want to eat them on the surface. It's definitely like that other one just hurt them and out of nowhere. Dude, I have my line out the back, but I'm afraid to turn away. Look at this thing. He's just staring straight up at it. Oh my gosh, I've never seen one do this. <laughs> just from him, like, like touching him, like bumping him with his nose. He sliced him open like that. It was like a little toothpick. Just... All right. Zeke and I have repositioned back onto this hump we're fishing. He's dropping down the old blue runner, see if he can find the monster cuda. And I have a vertical jig here. Okay, we are done for today. This has been literally such a hectic week, basically getting back from Australia and trying to get things set in order and lots of exciting news. I bought a house, I got engaged, I got a dog, and it's just kind of been all over the place. And I've been scrambling, trying to catch back up, but I'm very, very excited to be back home in Florida and I have lots of really good ideas and some terrible ideas scrambling in my brain for what I want to do over the summer when the fishing is just hot and I'm dying to go catch some snook, man. They are chewing right now and they're big and uh, they need to be caught. Whew. I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. It was kind of a bummer. You know, we only caught one kingfish. We struggled to catch bait, but it, getting out like getting to go out in the ocean in the flats boat is just always so much fun anyways because i can't really do it very often and when it's flat out it's so much fun running out there and you're running out the inlet alongside a 40 foot sports fisher and you're just like what up dude Whew. it was fun i love getting to fish with zeke he's my best bud and uh Hopefully we can have some more productive days as the uh, summer continues, but I appreciate you guys. Do me a big favor, leave some comments down below of what you wanna see for some videos during the summer because there's a lot to be done. On my head right now, I know I wanna chase some tarpon off the beach, I wanna do some more offshore stuff, and leave some suggestions below, whether it's like, hey, go fish the inlet, which I may do, I don't know, I'm not super crazy on fishing the inlet, but go fish the inlet, go fly fish along the beach for snook, Whatever it is, leave some comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see because I love hearing your thoughts and ideas. Okay, that's it. I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you're subscribed down below. That'll keep you up to date whenever I post a video. Aight, we're done. Until the next one, peace.